I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Native American drum. And the saying I'm going to put is the drum represents the heartbeat and then down here I'm going to write of Mother Earth okay all right, starting right up here, I take one finger and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a flat oval. Curve line, curve line, curve line, and connect. On the left-hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line down. Come on the right-hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line down. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a slightly curved line, straight line, curved line up, connect. I come down a little bit up on the top on the left and I'm going to draw another curved line, slightly curved line up and over, connect. And come down to the bottom, we're going to draw another curved line, straight line, curved line up, connect. Inside this space. We're going to draw one, two, three, four, five curved lines connect. Now, some of you might need more, some of you might need less. This all depends on how we all draw. Now, we're going to repeat one, two, three, four, five curved lines connect. Now, at each point, starting on the left, we draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up to that point. Start again, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, Connect, and if you can fit this in, straight diagonal down. We're going to repeat this line also. Inside, straight line down, up, connect. Straight diagonal 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 down, up, connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, these drums are all made out of animal hides. So the very top part we're going to color in brown. The colors that they used were made from natural elements, vegetables, plants that they found around them and they would dye the animal skins if they had access to color. Sometimes they didn't and they just left them natural. So we're going to color the top part brown and this part brown too. Because this is the part of the animal skin that fitted over and down the sides of the top. This is what kept it in place. Then I'm going to take red and as a decorative color I'm just going to color this little curved line all the way across. They also use insects for color. Okay, next I'm going to take yellow orange and I'm going to color the inside space right here yellow-orange. Now you can see that all of these colors 
are within the range of natural dyes that you would find in the countryside. Now come down here and we're going to do this space, yellow orange. And they have examples of these drums in many museums as artifacts, but they were used spiritually in their music and dances. Now, to strap everything in, this space is also brown. And this would be how they would attach everything together, top to bottom to sides. So this is very important part two. So these should all be brown. Now, if you have multicultural crayons, this inside space, I'm using peach, beige, apricot, and this is another sign of the skin in the hide. Bring it all the way over, bring it down, bring it all the way over, and bring it down. Okay? Keeping it all in this color range. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Native American drum all colored in. The drum represents the heartbeat of Mother Earth. Okay, bye-bye.